My name is Elizabeth Kushamera. Uh, our company is called Infinity SA Brand Investments. We are known importers for wines and spirits, genuine wines and spirits. Uh, during exportation, we are always uh, surfaced with uh, the PIVOC surcharge, which we had been paying before, and the process was always a bit faster uh, and quite affordable. But when we were hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, the charges were a bit heavy on the business because business wasn't the same again. When we made an importation this year, uh, around March, UNBS assisted us by wavering the PIVOC surcharge. It was a great relief to us and other importers that time because we managed to go, we were relieved of a very big lump sum, which meant to, a lot to us due to the challenges we were going through during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a company, we managed to import these goods. Uh, sometimes we don't do it alone. We have access some loans from the banks. Uh, whenever we do importation and sales, we give priority to repayment of loans before anything else. As a business person, you're supposed to be trustworthy. It's number one. That's because next time you will need these people over and over again. Uh, we've tried to remain relevant by doing online advertising, doing deliveries. Uh, we're trying to make it easier for our clients. In every way possible, prices have come down. We are trying to you know, make it easier for clients to also access our products, especially within and around Kampala. NSSF, in partnership with other organizations, has organized a customer service week with a theme, Rebuilding Together. Uh, here, they're trying to see how we can come back together and continue to build our economy. As someone in business, I would encourage the business people not to give up, because when you give up during this pandemic, then what next? We can still make it, we can survive within our means, we can continue to do what we've been doing because it is still possible when you look at the available options. We have been supported by different organizations. Let's take advantage of that and remain in the business. I would like to encourage all people who are not in formal employment, especially the business community, please save voluntarily with NSSF. Encourage your employees. If you have less than five employees, you can still encourage your employees to also save with NSSF. NSSF, a better life.